Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. Oh, no, you. Try right here. So I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markili, your presiding judge, chairman, and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Charlton White up to no good again, like always, still provoking and taunting these brothers to basically get rid of him. He getting more arrogant, more prideful, even though he had a few run-ins. So apparently... Gilly the Kid said something about him on social media. I believe he called him something like a rat or a snitch. Charlton White took it upon himself to capitalize off that and start disrespecting his dead son. The crazy thing about it is, Charlton White, you a self-admitting snitch. So why would you be offended at Gilly calling you a rat or a snitch? When that's what you say out of your own mouth and actually make fun of yourself being one. But he took it upon himself to say some things, man. And I want to talk about a little bit of this. I'm going to let you hear some of the things he said, man. This is graphic, but this give you an idea of what he was doing when it came to Gilly's son. Check this out. I saw you. Your soul for the night you saw. Your soul got a murder. Yeah, your soul got a motherfucker. Got a motherfucker unsolved murder. Because he dumb as shit. Got a gangster talk. Now, I remember when y'all came out, because your son rap music wasn't doing too good, right? And y'all tried to shake the punk. Y'all tried to shank Pop Hunter because Pop Hunter testified on the murder when he was 14 years old because his mama made him go down there and say, hey, son, tell him what you saw when your friend got murdered. You tried to shank that kid. Now, look what happened. He heard the son get his get tired, Pop Hunter, and he motherfucking body Now, look at you. Y'all need some snitches. Y'all need some motherfucking snitches. And because you ain't got no snitches, guess what? Your motherfucking dead boy murder can't get solved. Show up the court, 
not only am I going to show up in court, I'm going to stay here to connect direct communication with the prosecutor and the district attorney's office. Not only that, I'm going to join the victim's compensation and the victim's impact. You lying to me, nigga. I'm going to ruin your motherfucking life. Not only am I going to press the criminal charges, I'm going to come back and do what run. Brown and the cold brown system. What's that boy named Ron Goldman in the cold brown system? What they family did to OJ? I'm on civil suit your motherfucking ass because all you need in a civil suit is a preponderance of Okay. So, according to him, so he taunting Gilly's son who ended up getting killed. Uh, what's that? At the end of last year, sometime in the beginning of this year, um, so he get to taunt him, mocking his death, shaming him, talking about desecrating his grave site. He go to the phone and call his son to show how Gilly, you can't do this, you can't call your son because he dead. So he go on and call his phone, his son phone on the live, and begin to talk to his son to mock. Gilly the kid, then he let it be known how y'all scared of him because y'all know he gonna call the police on everybody and press charges and make sure that you get prosecuted to the full to the uh fullness of the law. Again, he don't know what era he in, man. He really don't know what era he in. It's like a ticking time bomb, but sh slowly but surely, I don't wish this on them, but I just know how this is going to go. You provoking too many people. You coming at people, children, you coming at people, dead folks. And even though that stuff don't mean nothing to me because I understand better and I know better, but you saying that to people who it means something to. You saying that the people who it means something to who feel just on honor alone, they have to do something about you disrespecting their kids and they dead folks. And you playing a dangerous game because you're dealing with people who got big money. You personally looking and expecting for them personally to do something to you. When them dudes can drop a bag on your head and get you up out of here. And you don't even know the attention you just brought to your own son. Matter of fact, I just heard them one dudes on the internet talking about about that on um no jumping them talking about yeah they know they know your son they know how your son look and things like that just go to show that behind the scenes guys working on getting you when they saying stuff like that like yeah we know his son we know how his son look. That go to show you that God's is working on something and you don't even understand what you probably then done, done, bro. And you so reckless, you don't have no respect for your children. You don't care. You don't care at all. And you really believe that just because you holler, you're going to call the police on people, that's going to scare them. That's not going to scare them. You know niggas don't care about that type of stuff. And the way you talking... Yo, yo, when they, when they do try to come get you, it's going to be automatic death because they know you're going to snitch. Why would they leave you alive when they know you're going to snitch? They know you're going to tell. And in this day, hey, they don't really leave nobody alive anyway. You, 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 you better hope the Lord is with you when you, uh, when guys be doing them things they be doing. These guys be surviving four or five shots sometimes. So God definitely was with them. But these guys ain't playing no games now. These guys got extended clips, drums, and when they come hit you, they let it all loose. They got switches. So ain't nobody trying to pop you one time unless they just know it's an execution and that's all it's going to take. But they trying to get you up out of here. And you playing a dangerous game with these people. You you really trying to come at the bro? I'm telling you, there. Listen, nobody don't care about the police. You're not scaring nobody with that. They cared about the police. They wouldn't care about the things they doing in the streets. 
You got Bloods and Crips on your head. You got GDs and Blackstones and Vice Lords on your head. You got rap with them. You got strangers. You got people just on your head, just on the strength. And you can't stay hidden and hiding all the time. You're going to slip up like everybody do. You get caught slipping, it's a wrap. That's how most of these people be dying. It, when, when they wreck with like you, they get caught slipping. Oh, got him. And you making so many enemies, you all have no idea where it's going to come from. And then you be thinking because he go, like he'll go on the show and say this. I just want y'all to know the stuff you hear on the internet, that's not really me in real life. I actually do this for the community. I do this for the kids. What y'all hear me say on the internet, that's just a made up character I made up. That's what he be saying. That's just a made up character I made up. That ain't real. I just made that character up. Yeah, but the stuff you're saying out of yourself is real regardless to what character you made up. When you're talking about people, children, and you're talking about people, dead folks, and you, uh, uh, shaming people, mama them, oh yeah. They don't care about no made up character. They don't. And again, I think you really signed your death warrant when you just started disrespecting God. See, that's another thing. He started disrespecting God in this thing too. Talking about how he don't give a F about God and none of that F, all that about God. That's okay. That's See, that's when the enemy, see the devil, no. The Bible say God will not be mocked. So you know what the devil do? And this is what I be trying to tell people in the battle rap community. Y'all better stop blaspheming God. Y'all better stop using his name in vain because you don't get away with that. And the devil know it. So he influenced you to do those things because he know that the Bible call him the accuser or the brethren. He'll get you to do the things he tell you to do. Then he'll try to get permission for, from God to get rid of you. So he tried to get you to do the things that he know that God don't like and then try to get permission from God to get rid of you. And God don't blame nobody but you because you chose to do that. And that's why the Bible say pride come before the fall of every man, that arrogance and pride. And he's showing off for the internet, using his internet fame to have sex with women. So he's feeling himself. He feeling himself now because he making a little money on the internet. Now he didn't upgrade it from a ugly girlfriend to now a cute life skin girl. You get what I'm saying? So he upgraded himself.
My bad, but like I was saying, man, he got a light skin girl now. <laughs> he got a light skin girl now that made some money on the internet. He feeling himself. I'm trying to tell you, watch. Make no mistake about it. But I think he just put his son life in danger, keeping it real. He just put his son life in danger, man, because a lot of people don't like that at all. Gilly is liked and respected by a lot of people. It's different than some of these rappers you was going at. But not even that, though. It's a lot of people who like a lot of them rappers you was going at, too. And, bro, you just have no idea. You, hiding, hiding and things like that, that ain't going to help you, bro. I'm, I'm trying to tell you what I know, man. And you be traveling with them old men thinking that they got, got your back. Like, they ain't doing nothing but setting you out. See, see, it's like you playing this death game at your expense and your family and them expense. Why y'all so-called hitting a little lick. See, y'all didn't hit a little internet lick. And you like, oh, man, keep it coming then. Keep it coming. Then you want to taunt and provoke brothers. Then you want to think you popping some knowledge at the same time. Then you want to come back to tell people like you ain't really, this ain't really you. Man, listen, man. You playing a dangerous game, man. Niggas don't care. Niggas ain't caring about no police, bro. I'm just keeping it real. They ain't caring about no police. And you know at certain places you can't even go. All the stuff you were saying, you avoid a lot of places. Them people ain't playing with you, though, bro. Them people gonna get at you. Because you just got too much stuff out here, bro. I'm just keeping it real. You got too, too much stuff out here. And I know them guys. Look, I'm telling you, I know how the internet work, man. I've been seeing it for years. You know how it work, too. You've been seeing it for years. Now you didn't put yourself in the limelight to become one of their targets. That ain't finna work out for you. Then you didn't put your son in danger now because now people looking at your son. Them dudes were like, "Yeah, we know, we know how his son look. We got we." So they literally on no jumper talking about that, like them other gang dudes, like, <laughs> bro playing with your own family life man watch watch what i tell you though man i'm telling you these these dudes this internet is terrible bro niggas do anything for clout <laughs>